welcome back to our YouTube channel. Today we're going to be going over how to prime your dialysis circuit using online prime. What are you going to need is a Fresenius 5008 dialysis tubing set and your prescribed dialyzer. Just to let you know, I've already completed the T1 test. The T1 test will need to be completed before we prime our circuit. And if you see here, it says preparation. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my dialyzer out and I'm just going to put it on the holder. From there, I'm going to open my doors, open the tubing, and just to let you know the wrapping here, there's a little tab so you don't want to fight with the wrapping paper. I'm going to take my arterial segment, I'm going to release the first five. The first thing I'm going to do is take my arterial my blood pump here segment and it's going to go in this aspect if you see right here there's a little rigid piece that has to go right against the sensor here and this is going to cause your arterial dome to open i'm just going to thread it through the tubing now i'm going to put my arterial dome in if you see this is a soft aspect and rigid, the soft aspect here should be towards the machine. And please be gentle, it's very easy to break the arterial dome. This is for the heparin pump. We're not going to be using that, so I'm just going to clamp it and put it on the side. Now I'm going to put in my arterial clamp, my blood volume monitoring door, my blood temperature monitoring, and I'm going to just put my tubing on the side where my patient would be. I'm just going to attach right now my arterial tubing to my dialyzer. Now I'm going to move on. I'm going to take my venous chamber, I'm going to put it in the holder like so. I'm going to take my transducer and attach it. Clamp my medication port right here. You need to clamp it. Here as well, you have a medication port on the end of your venous line. You're going to clamp that as well. Here I'm going to make sure it's really fitted in because this is where it's going to detect any air bubbles entering your patient. Attach to your venous clamp, your BTM door, and to your patient. I'm just going to let this hang over for a moment and I'm just going to completely attach this to my dialyzer, my blood tubing. So if you see, and if you're used to priming with a saline bag, these steps are pretty similar. But now we're going to be actually using other segments and we're going to be using your online pump, which is here. So what I'm going to do, it's the same. There's a rigid aspect here and that's going to go against the sensor as well. Right here, they're going to have to touch and you're going to hear a little thing. Now what you're going to do, you're going to have your arterial segment and that is going to be attached here. Oh, sometimes that can happen, so just please be careful that you make sure your attachment are secure. This did not touch anything. If my finger were to touch or touch any of the other aspect, we would have to remove that segment and start again. Here, if you can see, this is your substituate port. And what I'm gonna do with that, I'm gonna open up this. I'm gonna put it back. If you can see, I have to pull outwards and pull up. I'm gonna remove the cap here. It's going to attach here. And then it's going to be like a little door. Come so. Now you're wondering what am I going to do for my venous segment? If you can see, I don't have a piece, and your venous 
bloodline is going to be on your rinse port. So if you can see, we're gonna pull back, we're gonna pull it down, but how do we get that to connect it here? You're going to need this guy. So what you're gonna do, you're gonna open it. It is in your packaging of your tubing. The first thing I'm gonna do is remove this. Take off my cap. It's gonna attach like this. Now I'm gonna remove this guy. My hands cannot touch this. I'm going to put it here. And then it's gonna be held in place. So now if you can see everything is connected. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to connect my dialyzer couplings. Yes. Close my door as well. And now if you see my screen has changed and now it's indicating priming or rinsing and now we're going to start. So if you see now it's indicating that dialysate side of the dialyzer is being primed and then priming and rinsing of the blood lines will then start automatically. So now if you see the dialyzer is now primed, now it's rinsing and priming your blood circuit. And if you see here you have your online rinse volume, your cumulative rinse volume. And once it has completed the total rinse, you are going to be ready to go and connect your patients. So I hope this is helpful and stay tuned for future videos. If you like this, give it a thumbs up. Thank you.